This episode of the Cloud Rolling Update is all about Google Container Builder, a scalable solution for building containers on Google Cloud Platform. I'm Carter Morgan, your host for this series, focused on showing off features that make delivering software to and from Google Cloud Platform a great choice for enterprise developers. In every episode, I'll show off cool technologies and tools that I've gotten to learn from much, much smarter people, like Ahmed and Kelsey in this case. So, while this episode is just a quick overview of Container Builder, you're going to want to subscribe to the playlist so you don't miss out on the more advanced episodes. And a quick aside before we get started with GCB, a container is just a way to package and distribute applications uniformly. It does this by logically separating an application process from the environment it's running inside of. So inside this boundary, parts of the file system, the networking stack, and other running processes are hidden away from the outside world. To make sure that the application is portable and behaves the same way anywhere it's run, the application binary is also bundled together with its dependencies and its environment. So this resulting application container is fast to start up and shut down. It allows you to run your application on any system that can run containers, regardless of the type of system it was built on. And it can be run next to other containers without knowing that other applications are running concurrently. So aside from being able to build an application once and just know it's going to behave the exact same in multiple environments, the container also simplifies application development because two container images can do things like both receive traffic on their local host port 8080, no problem. So back to Container Builder. What happens when you want to build a container image? A lot. I, I like to simplify this process by only using containers to package and distribute my application. I don't use them to build the applications. So keeping this in mind, here are the steps you need to run to package and distribute your application using Docker. You need a few steps to download and install Docker. Then you create a Docker file, which has instructions on how to build the container image. Then you need one or more steps to build your application, and then a step to build and package your application into a container, which might download a base image on your machine just to upload the resulting image into a registry where other people can access it. Oh, and that didn't even talk about running an instance of your container or cleaning up the artifacts that the build left behind. Wouldn't it be great? If there was a managed service that could speed up building and distributing your images by skipping your workstation altogether and doing the heavy lifting in the cloud. Well, Google Container Builder is that service. You can use it with your favorite continuous integration tools or build systems because it uses tools you know and love like Docker files and GitHub so you don't have to learn new tools to get started. And on top of that, it's fast. It has support for custom build steps, which can be run concurrently. And there's support for using build triggers so that you can create images automatically. And all of this, all of this comes with full integration with Google Container Registry, the same service that's being used by Google Cloud Functions, App Engine Flex, and more. So let's see this in action. For example, if you already have a Docker file, you can just use it like you normally would to build a container image. Here you can see we have a standard Docker file. We're going to build our new application container from the Alpine 3.1 base image. And then we're going to add our application binary, which was built outside of Docker, into our container's file system, and then we're going to run our application when the container starts up. Now, I can use the gcloud container build submit command to submit that build to container builder. From the output, you can see that we just built a container image without it running on our laptop. So let's explain what just happened. Since we already had a Docker file, we used it with the gcloud tool that comes standard with the Google Cloud SDK to build a Docker image and submit it to Container Registry, Google's private container registry, all in one go. Now, GCR works with Docker images now, but other image formats are coming in the future. It also lets you view images by name or tag. It allows you to create build triggers that run and submit new builds on pushes to code in your source repository based on either your branch name or your tag. Once we ran that command, gcloud packets the source directory and build a container image in the cloud by executing the following steps. We compress the source directory as a tarball. We uploaded the source package to Google Cloud Storage, started a build request on Google Cloud Container Builder, streamed the build logs back to the user's console, tagged the build images, and then pushed those images to the GCRIO registry. And that's going to work for any source repository directory that has a Docker file. So instead of saying Docker build and Docker push, well, you can just run gcloud container build submit. So to recap, GCV is a fast and easy way to create container images in the cloud using Google's infrastructure that just plain works out of the box with Docker files. And if you want to customize your build process or even run parts of it concurrently, well, GCB provides a clean and modular way to do that. 
which we'll be talking about in a future video. So for more information, be sure to check out the links from Ahmed and Kelsey in the description below. And subscribe to the channel to learn about more advanced features of Google Cloud Container Builder, like custom build pipelines. Hey, thanks for watching. Check out more great videos from the Cloud Channel. See you next time.